Carmel Everhart, former trumpet player at the United States Air Force Academy Band, solo trumpet and group leader of Blue Steel in the American or the uh, Academy Brass Quintet groups before my retirement in 1990. All during that time, I had a private teaching studio and I also worked at Fountain Valley School at part time. And I also worked at the Broadmoor Hotel in professional performing capacity as group leader of the Changing Times Band for 17 years, uh, featured at the Broadmoor ta Tavern in the Broadmoor Hotel. Okay, all that ex playing experience and teaching experience I gained with my private studio years and subsequent years as professor of trumpet and jazz studies at uh, CSU Pueblo. I'll show you my my credential here. That's my ID card I used before my retirement. Okay, to prove that I am who I say I am. And a lot of people know me. I played with the Pueblo Symphony, principal trumpet, uh, for over a decade. Um, I subbed in the Colorado Springs Symphony. I was asked to play in it, but I was too busy with my own own groups and at the activities at the Air Force Academy at that time. But I think through the years, I've learned some uh, a lot about uh, not only trumpet playing, but ensemble playing generally that can help all players at all levels. And uh, now that I'm retired twice, I'm ready to kind of give back and uh, really share my information. I think what you can find valuable. Some uh, tips for teachers as well can be included, uh, perhaps for their programs to be more successful. Mine was pretty successful at uh, CSU Pueblo. As director of jazz studies, I was chosen one year to be the director of Colorado All-State Jazz Bands. Uh, some of my players have gone and be professionals. Most recently, one uh, little lady under my tutelage is now in the Army, uh, playing in the Army Forces Band in Europe, really enjoying her Army career. So I have many stories like that to share, but it's more important that we just reach out to everybody and let them know I'm here. This teaching um, opportunity or me to lecture or do a presentation at your school or work with you individually is now available through that vetsmusic.com website. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, I will continue this program with showing you, you saw the trumpet. I'll just talk a little bit about the evolution of wind instruments for, uh, for that are used in bands today, with the exception of, I don't have uh, a pan pipe here or something like that. I'm just gonna focus more on uh, how the wind instruments in the brass family came about and I'll show you it started not with this it started with the ancient man's origin of playing signaling uh, using something like this as a signaling device I'll show you this is a conch shell we just knocked off the end of it so the sharp point like this just slices off and then if you buzz your lips if people just try to blow on something like this you won't have any success. If you use it by buzzing, so this could have been an example of an early signaling device, a conch shell. We also have early devices which are made from animal parts specifically the horns from uh, the, sh the shofar, the, the Hebrew shofar was made from ram's horn, but we can make a similar item out of any cow horn trimmed off and uh, you would cut a hole in the end here. And if this was up here a little bit, I could play on it, but I'll just go ahead and insert my mouthpiece and we'll see what we get there. So this was uh, used as a signaling device 
um, in the proof is in the Old Testament and many other accounts historically. And it's all going to evolve into present day instruments. The um, next evolution would be to a straight trumpet. And it's just, a, they call this a natural trumpet. It's any object like this, which has a, a hole on one end and you blow through from the other. That's basically the trumpet. I Again, I put a mouthpiece on here. So it could be, again, very basic, primitive. Wouldn't have very many notes possible on this. It is mostly for a signaling device. You are all probably familiar with the uh, story of Joshua in the walls of Jericho in the Bible. I'm envisioning um, the instruments played at that point to bring that wall down would have been thousands of these trumpets. It's a very formidable instrument when it's this long. It has a tremendous volume capability. I'll demonstrate. This one, by the way, is made from pressed oil tin cans and uh, it comes from Nigeria, and they still play this over there, and they play it at you as a visiting foreigner to ward off evil spirits, according to their culture. So kind of frightening when you hear this the first time. So we will play this natural trumpet, a big version, and we'll see. I just put a little bit of air through it. It sounds like so. If I put a lot of air through it, it, it can be frightening. So, I'm, again, I'm thinking if there were many of those played at Jericho, very possibly those walls came tumbling down if they were made from sand mortar between a brick of some type. Could break it loose. Okay, so next instrument, of course, is evolved to the bugle, which is a, this is my uh, Boy Scout bugle. I was an Eagle Scout once upon a time, and I was troop bugler, and this is where my career as a trumpet player all started, by playing songs. <laughs> shape there. So that's what the bugle can sound like once you're in shape a little bit and just playing it cold. This, you notice it's just a tube, a long tube like the natural trumpets curled up. So it has a few notes what we call in the overtone series that are playable, but not too many. Okay, and then this evolves in time to in the um, eight, early 1800s to they would add keys to this. It was called a key bugle. Then eventually, but that wouldn't play all the notes in a scale. They came up with an idea of adding valves instead of the keys to this guy. And this is a modern instrument but it's a copy of an old what they call shepherd's crook cornet and it was used in the 1800s and became very prominent in, in brass bands in ensembles of all types
predecessor of what we play today, which is the trumpet. Now, on this, uh, somewhere on this website, you will find other recordings of me playing the trumpet in various ways, on various styles. And this, what's cool about this instrument uh, is it lends itself to classical playing, orchestral playing, band playing, and jazz playing, which is my big, big love in life these days. So, in fact, I'll show you a little bit of jazz. Here's early jazz. Okay, that was when the Saints played early jazz styles, and then that would have evolved into perhaps uh, big band era jazz. Okay, so that would have been another style of jazz, big band, swing era, and then it moves on from there. I won't take any more time boring you with what the trumpet can do. Just giving you an example. You've heard my playing ability, and I have, uh, I believe, the knowledge that uh, can be imparted to your, you personally or to your groups. I would love to come out and work with uh, bands of all types, concert bands, jazz bands, anything you got, I think I can help improve. So, and you people that want to play at home, and you can reach me now through Zoom. So uh, all the contact information will be on the website. So thank you for listening. Uh, I wasn't perfect today, but I promise I'll be a little better shape when we meet in person, online, or face-to-face. -face. Thanks for listening and watching.